NDTV has accessed the Enforcement Directorate's supplementary charge sheet in the Delhi liquor policy case. The Enforcement Directorate in the charge sheet says that payments worth 70 lakh rupees were made to volunteers of survey teams. It also says that an accused in the Delhi liquor scam had arranged a FaceTime video call from his phone between Samir Mahindru, who is the MD of Indo Spirits, and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Now, the charge sheet, which has been accessed by NDTV, also alleges that Mr. Arvind Kejriwal's Aam Aadmi Party used the money from the alleged liquor scam for its campaign in Goa. Meanwhile, the De Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, who is also the Aam Aadmi Party's national convener, has rejected the Enforcement Directorate's charges. He said that ED's charges are not based on solid proof and he says that ED is being used to destabilize governments by the central government. Listen in to what the Chief Minister said. ED की कितनी चार्ज शीट अभी तक 5000 चार्ज शीट फाइल की होंगी ED ने अपने पूरे इस सरकार के कार्यकाल में उसमें से कितने लोगों को सजा हुई ED की सारे केस फर्जी हैं ED के केस केवल सरकारें गिराने और सरकारें बनाने के लिए इस्तेमाल किए जाते हैं ED के केसेस ED जो है भ्रष्टाचार खत्म करने के लिए थोड़ी केस करती है ED तो केवल MLA इन लोगों की सरकारों को MLA खरीदने के लिए MLA तोड़ने के लिए सरकारें बनाने के लिए सरकारें गिराने के लिए इस्तेमाल कर किया जाता है तो ED की चार्ज शीट एक कोरा फिक्शन है my colleague Arvind now joining us for more on this. Arvind, take us through the details of the charge sheet and also specifically the point being made by the Chief Minister that uh, the ED charge sheet doesn't mention any solid proof. That's what he's saying. So what does the charge sheet talk about in terms of proof? Priyanchi, the Enforcement Directorate has filed a supplementary charge sheet in connection with this Delhi liquor policy case. The Central Bureau of Investigation, which is probing the corruption allegation and also alleged irregularities in the Delhi liquor policy. The Enforcement Directorate taking cognizance of CBS affairs, looking into the money laundering allegation. That is how this particular proceeds of crime from this particular scam was put in use. So that's the uh, uh, limited investigation of the Enforcement Directorate. And this is the second charge sheet that the Enforcement Directorate is uh, filing in this particular case. And this particular charge sheet names almost seven entities including Vijay Nair, Samir Mahindru uh, uh, and, and other people as accused in this particular matter. So in the supplementary charge sheet, the Enforcement Directorate has made some damning uh, revelation when it comes to the Aam Aadmi Party wherein the Enforcement Directorate is saying that earlier Vijay Nair who was also the Aam Aadmi Party functionary and according to the Enforcement Directorate who played a very important role in this entire Delhi liquor policy uh, uh, framing, in fact uh, he uh, wanted, he arranged a physical meeting between uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and, uh, and Indo Spirits MD Samir Mahindra and because that particular uh, physical meeting couldn't materialize then uh, Vijay Nair made a, a FaceTime video call from his own mobile and he made uh, both Arvind Kejriwal the Delhi Chief Minister uh, and uh, Samir Mahindra who is the MD of Indo Spirits to speak to each other. So here Samir Mahindra we have to put Samir Mahindra in the context. Samir Mahindra got the wholesale uh, uh, license the L1 licensee for the wholesale uh, uh, for wholesale under the Delhi liquor policy scam. So according to the the enforcement directorate Vijay Nair made a FaceTime video call and he made a both uh, Samir Mahindru and also Arun Kejriwal to speak to each other and according to the enforcement directorate in this particular conversation Arun Kejriwal had told uh, Samir Mahindru that Vijay is my boy you should trust him and you should carry on with him so that seems to be the message that was given by Arun Kejriwal to Samir Mahindru this is according to the enforcement directorate also another aspect in this particular supplementary charge sheet is how this particular 100 crore earlier during the first charge sheet we did report how the Enforcement Directorate leveled an allegation saying that Vijay Nair on behalf of the Ahmadmi party received almost 100 crore as advance as kickbacks from the South Group. South Group comprises of Kavita who is the daughter of Telangana Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao and also Makuntala Srinivas Ullareddy who is again a liquor baron down south who is also a Lok Sabha MP from OSR Congress along with Sharath Reddy who is, uh, uh, who is also linked to Aravind, Aravindo Pharma. So according to the Enforcement Directorate all these three people uh, are, are part of the South Group and then South Group had some kind of an uh, uh, some, some kind of an uh, transaction uh, transactional business with uh, Indo Spirit Samir Mahindra. So according to the Enforcement Directorate, South Group gave almost 100 crore as advance kickback to Vijay Nair in order to get licenses, both the wholesale license and also the retail licenses in the daily liquor policy. And according to the Enforcement Directorate, this particular 100 crore was received by 
Vijay Nayar from the South Group, South Cartel, through Hawala channels. And very importantly, the Enforcement Directorate says that part of this 100 crore was used for Goa Assembly election by the Amadmi Party. That's a, again a damning uh, allegation that the Enforcement Directorate is, is making for the first time in the supplementary charge sheet. And also, importantly, the Enforcement Directorate is also making a case wherein the cash payments to the tune of 70 lakhs were paid uh, to the volunteers of the survey team which were which were deployed by the uh, Anmadmi party for the Goa assembly election. So that's where the uh, uh, enforcement directorate is making its case. 100 crore was moved by South Cartel to Vijayanayar and that particular 100 crore, part of that 100 crore was used for Goa assembly elections out of which 70 lakh was given as, as cash, cash payments to uh, the survey teams by Vijayanayar. So this is the case that the enforcement directorate has made as part of its supplementary charge it. Though they have taken the name of Kavita, though they have taken the name of Makuntal Srinivasal Reddy, though they have taken the name of Delhi Chief Minister Arun Kejwal, but all these people have not been named as an accused state. Though the agency is saying that the further investigation is still on, but as of this moment, all these public functionaries or political executives have not been named as an accused in this particular case, but the further investigation on their role is still very much open. Priyanshi.